Last night, our collective promise was fulfilled with Jamie's safe recovery. Thank you to all. Joining me today, FBI Special Agent Justin Talameo, Josh Call, Wisconsin Attorney General, Brian O'Keefe from the Wisconsin Department of Criminal Investigation, Barron County District Attorney DA, or DA Brian Wright, Douglas County Sheriff Tom Dahlbeck, Captain Nick Wanick from the Wisconsin State Patrol, and Diane Trembley, Superintendent of the Barron School District. Jamie is faith, safe, and the family is requesting that you please respect their privacy at this extremely emotional time. Also in a few minutes, you'll hear from Superintendent Diane Trembley on a message from the school, and please respect the respect of no media on school property today, please. This case remains a team effort from the beginning, and I'll never be able to thank all the agencies and businesses, individuals, that helped on this case with their singular focus to bring Jamie home. Yesterday, there was a lot of confusion with an erroneous social media post about 4.30 p.m. in Walworth County. This was an incident in Walworth County, but in no way had connection to this case as reported on Facebook. Shortly after I posted that Jamie was not involved in the Walworth County incident, uh, my detectives were alerted. Uh, a 911 call was out being given out in Douglas County. Um, responding to a person claiming they had found Jamie. I'm now going to bring up Sheriff Tom Dahlbeck, the Douglas County Sheriff, and he'll address this part of the, uh, the incident. Sheriff? Thanks, Chris. My uh, agency received a 911 call about uh, 4.30 yesterday afternoon from the individual who was out walking her dog. Um, said she was approached by a young female claiming to be Jamie Kloss. Uh, this lady immediately went to a nearby house, notified uh, that neighbor of the uh, claim, and this neighbor called 911, and my deputies uh, responded uh, en masse immediately and identified Jamie as the uh, person that approached the neighbor, took uh, control of her and possession of her, put her in uh, safekeeping, and a short time later, one of my patrol sergeants uh, happened to find a vehicle that matched the description that Jamie gave my deputies of the suspect and pulled the vehicle over and uh, took the suspect in custody at that time. Um, beyond that, uh, Jamie was taken to a local hospital up in the Duluth Superior area where she was uh, looked over and examined and she was held overnight for observation. And uh, the suspect was interviewed and subsequently brought back down here to Barron County. Uh, that's all I have right now. Thank you, Sheriff Dahlbeck, and thank you, deputies, for the work that they helped in this case. The suspect arrested, it was arrested, and is currently being held in the Barron County Jail. That suspect is Jake Thomas Patterson, P-A-T-T-E-R-S-O-N. He is 21 years old from Gordon, Wisconsin. He is currently being held on two counts of first-degree intentional homicide for the murder of Jamie's parents and one count of kidnapping. Barron County District Attorney Brian White will give a brief comment next. Thank you, for, <clears throat> thank you, Sheriff Fitzgerald. First of all, I want to thank everyone with law enforcement for the tremendous work that they did to bring Jamie home. That starts with Sheriff Fitzgerald and the Barron County Sheriff's Department. It includes the FBI, the Division of Criminal Investigation, and the hundreds of officers who came to Barron County to assist in this investigation. I saw firsthand how brave, <clears throat> determined, and dedicated these men and women are. It has truly been an honor to see the work that they have performed as public servants to this community. It was only a few months ago that we as a community gathered to pray for Jamie's safe return at Barron High School. God has answered those prayers. The case will now be referred to the district attorney's office. Our office will review the reports and then make a charging decision. It is my intent to have a criminal complaint filed by next week. It is our job in prosecuting this case to obtain justice for James, Denise, and Jamie Kloss. We will do so. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, DA Wright. This case remains very active and fluid as we stand before you today. We have FBI, DCI, State Patrol, Douglas County investigators, and Barron County detectives actively working the scene and conducting interviews, so details will be sp sparse right now. We do plan a 4 p.m. media update with more t details to be released at that time, right here. As you heard, the charges of the suspect, uh, the suspect is being charged with kidnapping. Jamie was taken against her will and escaped from a residence at which she was being held and found help. We also do not believe that this time that the suspect had any contact with the family. We do believe Jamie was the only target. I can tell you that the subject planned his actions and took many proactive steps to hide his identity from law enforcement and the general public. Next, I want to invite some of our partners to, take a few com to make a few comments. Again, these agencies stepped forward, coming here, never gave up hope, and became part of our community. I can never thank them enough.